So I'm a member of Magneto One First Nation and my family lives on Magneto One Reserve and it's about three and a half, four hour drive north of the city. For me, it was sort of a way to get back in, in touch with my family, with my community, and I really wanted to be, be active, especially with everything that's been going on with the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. I was just really excited right from the beginning and thought it was an amazing project to be a part of. Well, the project really emerged out of a laundromat conversation that I had with uh, Pauline Shirt. Now, Pauline is a Cree wisdom keeper. We were just chatting about the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and, you know, this 94 calls to action that came as part of that, uh, that commission's work. So that, that got us going. Basically, spontaneously, on the, on the moment, we came up with the idea of having a, a canoe painted by an Indigenous artist and filled with Indigenous healing plants, plus a marker stone which is very specific about what the, the project is about in terms of recognizing all those children that died in the residential school system. We put on four public gatherings. We got a crew together, a canoe crew we're calling it, to introduce the community to Indigenous issues. So we started with something called the uh, Kairos Blanket Exercise. It's a very, very dramatic a way to talk about the history of Indigenous people in this country. That was a very emotional day. We were all in tears. Everybody in the room was in tears. It was so moving. It's changed my perception in life to be here. I think that this is really doable in other places too. Everybody can create some way of recognizing the importance of truth and reconciliation. We cannot reconcile before we know truth, so education is very, very important. The canoe itself, it's gorgeous. It's a piece of art. It brought community together. Uh, we had young kids participating as well. We are planning a relaunch ceremony and uh, we will have the canoe out and it will be full of soil and it will be full of uh, healing indigenous plants and uh, it'll be on permanent display along with its, uh, its marker stone, which describes what the project is all about. The impact and what we wanted actually from the beginning was just to bring awareness and we've done that. 